Welcome to the Faculty of Arts. Here, you'll study alongside bright and creative students and learn from world-renowned faculty. This video will show you how to plan and build your arts degree at McGill. Please note that this video is designed for students graduating from Quebec CEGEPs. If you are not an incoming CEGEP student, some of the content may not be applicable to you. As a CEGEP student, you'll enter what is known as U1. At McGill, we operate with U0, U1, U2, and U3. This means that as a CEGEP student, you will typically complete your degree in three years if you take a full course load. As a U1 student, you are also eligible to declare your program immediately. This means you can select your major and minor concentrations on Minerva. We will explain what majors and minors are a little later in the video. To decide what you'll want to study, we'll take a look at the different subjects of study in the Faculty of Arts. Take note of the ones you find interesting and may want to pursue. Once you've decided on the subjects that interest you, you'll be able to select one of many program offerings. First, the basics. A year of study at McGill is about 30 credits. All McGill students require 120 credits to graduate. However, as a student from CEGEP, you're automatically granted 30 credits, which means you'll only have to complete an additional 90 credits to reach the 120 credit graduation objective. Each of these program paths we're about to look into divide the credits a bit differently. There are four types of program paths you can take. The multi-track system, the honors program, the joint honors program, and the faculty program. We'll start off with the multi-track system, our most popular program path. It includes three different options, which are comprised of majors, minors, and electives. A major is your main area of study, where you'll take the most credits. A minor is a secondary area of study, where you'll take less credits than a major. And electives are additional credits you can take to explore other subjects. Electives can be seen as the leftover credits in your program that you can take to reach 120 credit graduation goal. For the multi-track system, option A is to have a major made up of 36 credits, a minor made up of 18 credits, and 36 credits of electives. An example of this is a student may choose to major in sociology, minor in history, and take electives in other disciplines. The second option of the multi-track system is the double major. Instead of having a minor, you have two majors of 36 credits each. This leaves you with fewer electives in other disciplines. The final option of the multi-track system is the double minor. In this situation, you have one major, two minors, and electives. An example of this could be a major in psychology, a minor in any other discipline, and a minor in behavioral science. This is a popular option for students wishing to study psychology because it provides them with background needed for future studies through the minor in behavioral sciences. Students who prefer more intensive studies or are interested in pursuing graduate school following their undergraduate degree can also choose to do an honors program. All honors programs need to be declared during your first year, U1. If you are interested in doing an honors in economics, however, it needs to be declared at the beginning of your first year. Declaring means to select your intention to pursue this path on our portal, Minerva. Honors degrees are typically comprised of an honors program in your field of study, made up of 42 to 60 credits, a minor made up of 18 credits, and electives, around 12 to 30 credits. For the honors program, you will need a CGPA of 3.0 in the Faculty of Arts, but some departments have their own requirements which are higher than a 3.0. We recommend speaking to an advisor before registering for an honors program. Next, we have the Joint Honors Program. The Joint Honors Program involves taking two honors programs of 36 credits each in separate departments plus electives. A minor is optional in the Joint Honors Program. You must also meet the requirements of both departments. Finally, we have the Faculty Program. It includes 54 credits in one concentration and 36 credits of electives. Faculty programs are interdisciplinary, meaning they cover subjects from different departments. For example, we offer the faculty program in Environment, where students can choose from several different domains, including Environment and Development, Economics in the Earth's Environment, and Ecological Determinants of Health in Society. The Environment and Development domain, for example, includes Environment and Development courses alongside Social Sciences courses, such as Anthropology and Geography. This enables you to have a well-rounded, multidisciplinary education in the field. In the faculty program, you can choose to do a minor, but it isn't required. You can find an up-to-date list of faculty programs on our website. Across all of these options, you can complete up to 12 credits outside the Faculty of Arts and Faculty of Science. 
this comes up to about four courses. If you are taking any of the designated programs, however, you can take up to 30 credits outside of your faculty, or about 10 courses. Designated programs are programs that include a number of required and complementary courses in other faculties. Here is the list of all the current designated programs at the Faculty of Arts. Visit the QR code for an updated list. Now that you've learned how to build your degree, the next step would be to register for courses. When you're ready to do so, be sure to consult the first year guide produced by Arts Oasis, your faculty's advising team, for all sorts of information on registration and preparing for your first year. If you have questions, academic advisors are available to help you choose your degree options and can answer your questions related to course selection. Thank you for watching the video and welcome to McGill.